Mm. So, so here's a uh, Ixo. Yes. Ixo 4K, 2K, 32 inch. Yes. Um, so the one of the uh, uh, advantages of the Ixo is uh, for a high resolution. You know, compared to the conventional non Ixo type display, you cannot read the characters, small characters. Yeah. This is uh, for high vision, but this is 4K. As you can see, you can see the very small letters very clearly. Okay. So, so Ixo mm -hmm. allow for higher resolution. Yes, exactly. It's possible to do also higher resolution without Ixo, but mm -hmm. it's not as good. And not as good as because the uh, Ixo can make the transistor smaller. That means uh, you can transmit the backlight energy much more than the conventional technology. So smaller backlight. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. Smaller pixel. S smaller energy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That means uh, you know the, you can save the power of the display. So uh, what is this? Yeah. Another another uh, representation of the high resolution. This is just 15.6 inch. But you can realize the 4K, 2K with the EXO technology. This is amazing. Yes. <laughs> so it's possible to do 4K at, at 15.6 inch. Yeah. So is this for a laptop or what? It's a Ultrabook type. Ultrabook? Yeah. It's possible to have this 4K Ultrabook? Yeah. Really? Yes. Uh, we, we have just started the uh, mass production with this um, LCD module. So yeah, soon you can get the 4K on your laptop. Really? Yes. So for Christmas, mm -hmm. there's a new Mac, mm -hmm. new MacBook. <laughs> I cannot say which, there's a which new product. But Sony. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's a new. No, Sony make old screen. They use sharp mm -hmm. screen also. Yeah. This we are, you know, we are selling this component to our OEM, so uh, we cannot disclose the. Maybe which Asus, make. Acer, yeah. and maybe you know Toshiba, but. Depends. Yeah. Depends. Yeah, yeah, whichever you can imagine. Yes. You can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Maybe for Christmas, yeah. 4K laptop. Yes. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. This screen is can crazy. You, can you can you read the letters? Yes. It's really cool. And you can count the uh, number of heads, you know. So, if I have a 4K laptop, mm -hmm. is the battery only half an hour? Uh, no, no, no. no? That, that's the merit. That's a merit, uh, merit of the Ixo. Ixo can save the power. Um, thanks to the high aperture ratio, so you can uh, compare to the conventional um, display panel. Exo uh, yeah. can save the power. And it, it can save power. Yeah. So if I have a 15 point, uh, no, what is the size? 15.4, 15.6, 15.6 inch, inch mm -hmm. normal mm -hmm. laptop, mm -hmm. 1080p or mm -hmm. 1366. Mm -hmm. Compared to this, mm -hmm. it will have same battery. Yeah. Similar. It will not have a yeah. shorter battery? No. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And it, but it's much, much more expensive. Yeah, and now How I much can... much more expensive will be? Oh. <laughs> you cannot another, say. Sorry. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what are you showing here? Yeah. The, this, is, this shows another uh, merit of the uh, EXO to save the power. Okay. This is a conventional display, and this is the EXO display. Okay. Same resolution? Same resolution. And, uh, you know, when you are showing just a still image, yeah. Uh, you don't have to uh, refresh. refresh every, you know, 60 times a second. Uh, when you're showing the movie, uh, you need to refresh the image every time. So this compares the uh, power consumed at the uh, LCD panel. So automatically, EXO <laughs> allow for very low refresh. Yes. How low? How low? <laughs> it's, uh, in this case, the, you know, uh, screen uh, refreshes only once a second. Really? One yes. hertz? One hertz. So that's available? Yes. In, <clears throat> in hardware on the market or not only prototype? Yeah, in already in market. So mm. the one hertz screen mm -hmm. is only possible with EXO? Yes. You cannot work with other technology. No, no, no. Yeah. Mm. So you go all the way down. Right now is 30 mm. FPS, 60, yeah, 60 and, and then now you can work yeah. only one yes. automatically. Yeah. Is it touch? No, it's no. only demo. Yeah. yeah. So um, you know, depending on the content, the EXO uh, display automatically detects if the refresh is needed or not. So uh, this uh, power saving can be done automatically. This is also awesome because mm. this this is very low power yeah. for backlit screen. Ah, so this does not include the backlight power. Ah. This is just a panel driving power. Okay. To be fair, so, uh, so the backlight is much bigger than uh, the, yes, uh, the refresh. Yeah, yeah. Backlight is what? One, one watt? Uh, yeah, yeah, even more. But yeah, yeah. But, uh, 
You can see that you can see more than 100 milliwatts is saved because of the uh, the slow refresh uh, screen updating. Nice. Okay. Uh, is this touch? Yes. And, uh, of course, of course you can draw, but not just the uh, finger, but you can use a conventional pencil because they are you know, signal to noise, sensitivity is so high thanks to the uh, exhaust long noise mode. How, how is EXO involved in sensitivity? I don't know. EXO is also about sensitivity? Yes, uh, because yeah, we've just demonstrated the, uh, you know, EXO's idling stop. So this can be, EXO can be driven so quickly and rest, quick uh, rest, quick update, rest. So touch panel sensing can be done while the EXO driving is stopped. So during the very uh, quiet period, uh, you can sense the uh, signal. So this is no hidden magic. This is a you know, conventional pencil. So you can draw the. So how is the delay here compared to Wacom? Uh, yeah, Wacom case. Yeah, you need to have the extra screen. This is conventional. This is competing with Wacom. No need for Wacom. No need. So. So you use uh, capacity, very fast sensor, yeah. very fast, yeah. it nearly feels instant, and mouth touch, this is capacitive technology, yeah, it's not capacitive technology which is also supporting the pen input, only a pen or anything, anything. it doesn't need to be conducted, it doesn't have to, oh, sorry, it has to be, yeah, ah, so this is, this, is, yeah. this is carbon, yeah, uh, lead. Something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has to be conductive at the end. Yeah. Nice. Okay. What's over there? Yeah. And, uh, here we are showing the next generation of uh, display using the EXO. Uh, this is called the MEMS display. Uh, we are currently uh, developing jointly with uh, Qualcomm. Qualcomm. Yeah. So MEMS is that uh, similar to uh, um, similar in the sense that uh, you, you need to do, rely on the mechanical movement. However, this MEMS display is very different from uh, Mirasol. Because the uh, Mirasol case is a reflective type display. Excuse me for a second, sorry. Um, <laughs> this is a MEMS display. You use a backlight power. Uh, Mirasol case, it uses the uh, ambient lights and uh, you know, showing the image as a reflection. But in this case, I uh, use the uh, RGB backlight. So why is my camera showing flicker? Is yes. it because of the refresh rate? Yeah, good question. That uh, Actually, um, you know, the conventional LCD, how you represent uh, uh, color, is you need to rely on the color filter. RGB, but in this case, you don't need to use the color filter, but use the RGB uh, flash backlight. So, you know, RGB backlight is flashed more than 1,000 times a second. 1,000 times? Yeah. Wow. So, because, uh, you know, um, flash is so quick, you cannot see the, you know, individual color. Yeah. But, uh, it's a structure in a sense very simple. There's a shutter and it moves horizontally to block the light or to transmit transmit the uh, trans <coughs> transmit transmit the light backlight part. So it's similar to how Mirasol works, but it's not. Um, the Mirasol case, the shutter moves uh, you know uh, vertically, but in this case shutter moves horizontally. So. Um, to simply control the you know backlight is blocked or uh, transmitted. Is this the first time you show MEMS? Yes, in, J time. in Japan. Yes, first time. Actually, oh, you showed it before at. Uh... Actually, on, uh, this year in SID uh, in yeah. Can Canada, Vancouver, uh, we demonstrated this this one. And this is the seven. Why do you say is the future? Is this going to be huge? What do you mean by? Uh, so, how is it different from LCD? Ah, oh, right, okay. So, um, it doesn't use the uh, color filter, it doesn't use the polarizer. That contributes to the great saving power. Yeah. So, even though it refreshes 1,000 times a second, yeah. it doesn't use more power? It's, it, actually, we are targeting the 
you know, 50% of the power consumption compared to the LCD. And how about the quality compared to LCD? As you can see, the, uh, you can see the red is red, green is green, you know, blue is blue, colors very vivid because uh, you don't need to use the color filter. You can see the uh, direct uh, color from the backlight. It looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Good. Uh, so. And uh, this is the interesting feature we are yeah. showing here, is that by saving, uh, by changing the color, uh, you can actually save the uh, power consumption. This is a real-time power consumption monitor. For the whole? Yeah, yeah for, for the whole, including the backlight and the panel So driving. is this one watt now? No, no, it's a uh, percentage. Of so, what? So, uh, so the full color mode is coming soon, yeah. So that this is a full color, very vivid, 400 candle per square meter. Uh, this is 100 percent. But when you're showing the map, you don't need the uh, full color. So just uh, you know, by limiting the number of colors, you can actually save the power drastically. Wow. This is, is that for the whole screen or only yeah. for part of it? Yeah, whole screen. For the whole screen? Yeah, yeah. So you can go down to 20 percent if you yeah. only do black and white? Yes. This is an interesting feature which uh, LCD cannot achieve. So, so uh, when you say MEMS, mm -hmm. uh, that means new factory. Yeah, totally new factory. Uh, no, actually, uh, we can make use of the existing uh, TFT factory. The TFT part is nothing different. So, uh, we, uh, you know, are installing the uh, equipment on top of the existing um, LCD factory. So that we don't need a massive capital investment for making the display. So. Uh, talk about the mirror cell, mm -hmm. Qualcomm has been talking a long time about right, it, right. but it's difficult to manufacture yeah, them. Yes. You have to invest a lot mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in making them. Yeah. Is it going to be different for the MEMS that mm -hmm. you're making? It's yeah. different strategy yeah. to make it possible to make? Yes. Um, I, I, I would say that this MEMS case is more simple, you know, just the, you know, the horizontal movements. Um, <clears throat> So uh, here, here you're talking about some product on the market. Yeah, sorry, I'm not in charge of this product. So, uh. so but it is using EXO. Yes. And uh, there's EXO coming over there. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, this is shipping soon too. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> And, and these smartphones are already available in the market. But mostly they're only available in Japan, no? Yeah, that's right. Why? <laughs> yeah, we don't have the, uh, you know... Uh, Is it because you cannot manufacture enough yet? Oh, uh, no, no, uh, not, not because of the display, nothing to do with the display, but, uh, you know... The Is it because of a uh, factory capacity? Is no. it a limit? No, I would say the uh, you know business channels and uh, okay. yeah. How long has EXO been in development? Um, from last year, so it's been marketing almost uh, twelve months. Okay. Yeah. Been on the market. yeah. But uh, how long did it take to make it, to design and make it? Many years? Many, yeah, yeah. We started uh, R and D a long time ago, but uh, we started yeah, four years ago um, since uh, we um, put uh, significant um, human resources for yeah. the development. So how does it work to develop a screen like this? Can you explain what what, what happens in Sharp mm -hmm. when Sharp uh, makes this? Okay. How does it work? Yeah, Sharp has been, uh, as you know, the leading manufacturer of the uh, LCD technologies, and uh, you know we are we have various kind of requests from the customer, like a low power or you know touch panel. So we thought Nixo is the best match for the future generation LCDs because the, uh, it can save the power. It, can, it have a very good uh, affinity with the touch panel, and also uh, you can make the uh, resolution higher. So Nixo has really good natures. Oh. So we're talking 4K yeah. 32, we're talking 4K 15 point mm -hmm. some, 6. Mm -hmm. uh, are we talking 4K 11 inch, 13 inch, 13.3 yeah. inch? Yeah, we have already uh, yeah, yeah, 15.6 15. Right? 15. 4K 2K. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 
EXO, is that exclusive from Sharp? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. is EXO a technology that every screen maker is going towards and Sharp is the first yeah. one? Um, you know, our EXO case, we developed this technology jointly with the semiconductor energy laboratories. And uh, um, as, uh, as we understand, the, uh, our competitors are currently working. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So but, everybody's uh, moving there. Yeah, but we are the number one. Number okay. one. Yeah. Is it enabling? Uh, if we go over there, mm -hmm. uh, can we walk around here? Be sure. So I'm really much looking forward to 4K TV at home. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, but here, Sharp is showing 4K, mm -hmm. but it's not using Nixon. Not uh, not yet. Yeah, it's because that uh, you know, for large screen TV, um, you know, Igzo's nature is not very much um, make a huge difference. Um, you know, even 4K at this screen size, uh, resolution is you know pixel per inch is lower than much lower than the uh, that you the saw. You know. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. So of course. From yeah. 52 inch? Yeah. 4K? Yeah, this is a... Uh, no. Uh, this is a... Uh, yeah, 2K plus Aqua Squadron. It's a... You know, one, four primary colors. So it's not real 4K, it's some special kind of mix? Yeah, special, uh, you know, four sub-pixels. So these, these are the 4K. So, uh, <laughs> so there's no urgent need to have EXO in the big TV. That's right, yeah. But, but it uh, will come also? It will, will come, yeah. You know, in a 8K or you know, that that if that time comes, then Igzo will be you know has an advantage. So I saw the 8K screen from Sharp mm -hmm. at the other fair. Mm -hmm. It's the most amazing thing in I ever seen. Yeah. Is that Igzo? Uh, no. So That's it's, a, it's not yet. Igzo. Not yet. Yeah. But Igzo makes it simpler mm -hmm. to maybe have 8K 65 inch. Gonna, how about the price? Is it possible to say that Ixo allows for same price as before, or no, not necessarily? Um, I, would, I would say it's a similar. The similar, similar price, price. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it all depends on the uh, you know what what to have. Yeah. Right. Cool.